Graham here from Dispatch Plumbing. There's a few things I wanted to show you for an on-demand water heater installation where the quality and the installation that we do would set us apart from other people. This is something you'd want to check out anytime you're installing an on-demand water heater, whether you use us or somebody else. Anybody can come in with a, with a lower price and leave out some key crucial factors and, and it'll, it'll make for a worse installation in the long run and it won't have the life expectancy it's supposed to, it won't have the performance it's supposed to. So we want to show you those factors that you want to look for when you're installing an on-demand water heater. Number one is gas regulator, modulating. The Navian has a turn down ratio of 10 to one or 15 to one. So it can go up and down uh, very quickly with the gas usage and the modulating regulator will allow for a quick turn down and fire up at, to keep the performance working properly. You also want the regulator six feet away minimum from the unit to help with the same uh, performance aspect. Service kits is another one. Uh, this allows for the annual maintenance to hook up your uh, hose here and your uh, other hose here to flush it and service it annually. Another one is temperature and pressure relief valve. You want it to be hot water uh, rated so that uh, if the temperature and pressure relief valve ever trips, you don't have uh, this melting. So you want it to be uh, hot water rated. Acid neutralizer, another crucial one. The condensation that comes out of the on-demand water heater or, or any gas-fired appliance is acidic and it'll eat away at your uh, plumbing in your floor. So you want to uh, have the condensate go through the limestone, which neutralizes the pH. So when it comes out of here, it's not going to corrode your pipes in your floor or in your house. Thermal expansion tank is another one. When the hot water heats up, it'll expand and contract and put pressure and strain on your piping system inside your house and on your equipment. It can cause drips at your faucets and it can shorten the lifespan of your equipment. So the thermal expansion tank, when the water heats up, it's got a diaphragm in here that allows uh, for the expansion and contraction of the, of the hot water heating up. The other one is the venting location. A lot of guys would just take the vents and go straight out the side of the house in the easiest location. What we did was we actually took the flue exhaust, which will blow steam out the side of your house. And we, we have the clearances to all the windows. And we, we actually went somewhere where you're not even going to be able to see it from any windows. So we took a little bit of extra time to get it in the right spot to, to keep it out of your visual line of sight when you're inside your house. So you don't see the steam out your windows. I think those are the those are the main components that you want to look for for a quality installation, as well as everything obviously looking uh, clean and clear and under control.